They are announcing world record. This would be the biggest accomplishment in track and field in 10 years. If the if this is a world record and the wind gauge holds up, it's greater than Ben Johnson's 100 meters yesterday, uh, last year. Jack world record holder Florence Griffith joiner Florence fantastic 1049 oh thank you very excited very excited. Um, tell me about the wind of course that's an area of great controversy right now do you feel it dropped oh yes it did um, Bobby told me to pay attention to the triple jump and if the wind was down go for the world record if not just go and make it through the next round uh, the wind felt good it didn't feel as strong as it did in the first race and I went for it so if the, if the wind had been up you would have just slowed not really more being more relaxed I mean, I really went for the record that time because the wind was down. He told what, me to really go for it. Then what's what's the game plan now after a world record in the semis? What's the game plan for the final? Uh, go to the semis, make it to the final, take the final, try go uh, go for the world record again. A lot of people. I'm sorry to change the subject like this. A lot of people are dying to know about your one-legged outfit. Is it a help hindrance cosmetic? What? No, it just feels good. Um, it's just different. Something I designed this year. And, uh, and it just felt good, so I'm wearing it. <laughs> okay, Florence, back up to you, Al. Okay, Catherine, uh, no doubt that's part of the drama of today. Florence Griffith Joyner setting what is apparently a new world record, 10.49 seconds. There's her one-legged outfit, and here is what the race looked like, Marty LaCour. Okay, in lane three and in lane two, you have two good sprinters. Gail Devers had run 10.86 earlier this year, one-tenth of a second off the world record, but watch what Florence does to the, re to the field. It's the gap, really, that leads me to give it some cred credibility to the fact that the world record was broken by almost three-tenths of a second. I think it's going to take a while to sort this out to see if the timer mis functioned or if the wind misfunctioned because the world record has never been broken by anywhere close to this amount. We have been told by the representatives of Omega, the timing and wind measuring people, that everything was in order during that race. So for now, it is a new world record for Florence Griffith Joyner in the second round of the women's 100 meters. Back in a moment.